subscribed. I started my Bitcoin website in 2016 when I was 15 and I've spent zero on SEO. I have 11 DA only from organic growth. What is the best free way to increase DA apart from guest posting? Um, so the best way to increase DA is to get on Fiverr and to spend like $5 on a completely trashy spam black hat blast from some guy in India and they'll That'll increase your DA to like 90 and literally like 30 minutes. It's insane. Uh, that this is true. This is true. You can actually do that, the, but don't actually do it. I'm do not do it. I'm telling giving you advice now. Don't, don't actually do that thing. Yeah, it's not going <laughs> to help you get what you actually want, yeah. which is rankings. Exactly. So there, there are ways to like game these numbers, right? And it doesn't always translate to what Google knows is good. So, um, don't worry about my advice would be, don't worry about DA. Don't worry about boosting your DA, uh, focus on, um, essentially doing digital press, which is link building, right? You want to be talked about on the internet. You want to be talked about in a good way on the internet. You want people to link to your website. You want to have your brand be mentioned. Um, and the way that you do this is uh, link building. Uh, so basically, you know, we are, if you probably see in the corner of the screen right now, uh, need backlinks, go to sellingsalot.co. Uh, we are a link building agency. This is what we do. You do not have to buy links from us though. There's um, plenty of other vendors you could buy links from, or you could try to build them yourself. Just know that building links yourself, or I mean, it's a, well, essentially a full-time job, right? Um, it's why people come and pay an agency like us because it takes a ton of time and no one likes emailing, you know, hundreds of people a day and the very low success chance that they get on these emails of people agreeing to, um, you know, post content or post a link on their website to them. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't really focus on the free stuff, but there are some free uh, methods of link buildings uh, you can do. Free backlinks. I don't know why it's not coming up in my history right now, but I'll go ahead and post a um, article here for you that I wrote in the past. Um, so yeah, this article has some ways to get free links. Um, but just keep in mind that uh, most of these ways that of getting free links or a lot of them are just they are links that we consider pillow links, which are not really ones that are, are going to uh, push your authority higher, push your rankings really high, but it's kind of helping things look natural um, for Google. Um, but there are some on there that will help um, increase your authority. For example, uh, like Haro link building, or um, you know, you can actually get like free guest posts and stuff like that, um, or going on like podcasts or whatever. Uh, so there, there are some things on there that actually get you like quality free links. Um, just know that in general, it is harder to get links for free. Most people are going to ask for money. And that, um, you know, if you're serious about your business or whatever, you kind of have to see this as an investment at some point. And, um, yeah, it's just, it is what it is these days. Right. Anything add on that, Nick? Yeah. So first off, uh, congratulations on being 15 and getting started in something like <laughs> that. Cause if you would have seen me and Chris at 15, holy shit, it is a miracle that we got anywhere near where we're at right now. <laughs> Okay, so you're a fucking genius, and uh, kudos. Now, mind you, though, um, you know, a lot of times, especially when we're younger, um, you know, we figure out these things, we'll make some money, and I've seen a lot of young SEOs over the years, you know, I'm not the brightest SEO, but I've definitely seen some younger guys that had a lot of talent come out, and then skimp on some business building kind of things that in the end ended up sniping their whole, you know, momentum when like a real heavy shift came and they weren't spending money in the right places or they were, you know, um, just not taking that quote career seriously. Um, you know, they, they fell off. Um, if you start in 2016 and you're in crypto at age 15, you spent zero on SEO, then you're doing something right. My guess is you're making some profit. You probably got some money there. Allocate a certain percentage, whatever the hell that is, figure it out, sit down, allocate a certain percentage to building up the momentum of this website. Especially now, dude, we're at the beginning of a bull run in crypto. Maximize the amount of traffic that you get onto that website, and you're going to maximize the amount of crypto you're sucking out of the markets via this blog as well. So, learn a little bit about backlinking. 
start allocating a little bit of money towards that. Start allocating more money towards um, content, you know, especially if you think this year is going to be big for markets in general, then the more traffic you add, the more potential you have of, you know, sucking more money out. So it's a cool flex to say I've spent nothing on SEO since 2016, got organic growth going, et cetera. But had you allocated a certain amount of, um, you know, the income coming into that site, um, back into the site, you might have exponential growth compared to where you're at now. So it's or just profits from, from trading crypto, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, really cool, but at the same time, you know, you're, you're kind of missing something. So it is a cool flex, but at the same time you could be probably a lot further than you are now. So I would advise at least taking a look, you know, at what you could do as far as potentially growing this site really quickly. Yeah. I'll just add one, you got to spend money to make money. And, mm. um, I had a number two, but I have no idea what it was anymore. But anyway, <laughs> you know, just look at it like an Dude, investment, but, right? Um, you know, yeah. you, you pretty much, you get what you pay for these days. Um, things have changed a lot in the past 10 years or whatever. Um, <clears throat> or, you know, if maybe you, 10 years plus ago for as far as link building. Uh, now there's definitely a higher barrier to entry to making money on the internet, I would say. Uh, I mean, not, not for everybody, but for a lot of niches there is, especially things that are very popular. For example, crypto, um, I would expect to, um, you know, need some kind of investment into your website to, to see good traffic on it. Unless you're like really going after some like real like kind of obscure kind of keywords. Maybe you're really into um, these like small cap coins and stuff that not a lot of people have content about. That could be a thing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I would, I would kind of try to shift your mindset on this from spending zero on SEO and I saw some growth to, um, you know, I'm in a competitive space and I'm going to need to have some investment into this site for it to, um, you know, make me a lot more money and you will see an ROI. Like if you're, you know, if, as long as you're not like doing like really messing some stuff up, the ROI is there. Like the, the amount of money make, you can make on the internet with a blog, especially in a popular space like crypto is just insane. Right. Um, so yeah, just gotta be kind of play the game a little bit. Anything left on that, Nick? No. <clears throat> hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and happy ranking.